What's going on everybody, David here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use ultimate reward points to book a flight. But first off on this channel, we talk about inspiring people to travel more using points. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you can get future updates on my videos. I've been really excited, really excited about this video. It's, it's taken me a little bit of time because I wanted to wait uh, to book a trip so I can show you guys exactly how I use my ultimate reward points uh, to book a flight. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch over to my screen right now and we'll go ahead and take a look. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is go to the the United website. So I'm on the United website. I want to look at my points here. I have 38,000 points. I'm going to need about 70,000 points. So I will need to go over to my Chase account. But first I want to look at my flights and then I'll go over to the Chase account and get the ultimate reward points transferred over to United. So you always want to do this first. You don't want to transfer your points first. You always want to make sure that what you want to book is available and then transfer your points. So the first thing I do is look over here. We have round trip one way. I want to do multi-city. I'm going to explain to you why in a minute. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit advanced search down here. Okay, so what we're looking at here is first thing we want to use points, right? So we're going to hit the awards uh, ticket. So hit yes for that. And now we want to do multi-city. So you have round trip one way or multi-city. Multi-city is uh, where we want to uh, book it. Okay, now I've already looked at this stuff. So if you have cookies enabled, it will remember. So just understand that. I'll go over each, uh, each step, but uh, it's easier that way, especially if you wanna do some research prior to transferring your miles over, which I recommend doing. Uh, you'll, you'll have everything set up so you don't have to change anything. So we have LAX, so from Los Angeles to Bogota on October 4th, and that will be, I always put any time and connectors. Um, I wanna make it as flexible as possible. That way I get all of the reward seats and uh, I can always fine tune it later if I wanna do that. So destination one, LAX to Bogota. Now, destination two is gonna be Bogota to Medellin. That's gonna be on October 8th. So we'll spend four days in Bogota and then we'll go over to Medellin and that's destination two. Destination three is gonna be Medellin to Los Angeles. That's gonna be on October 15th. And that's all set up, so everything is here. I don't have to make any other changes. The only thing I wanna do is I wanna do business class. Okay, so now we're onto the next screen here and you look at the top, it'll show you the saver award. So you have 35,000 points and that's what you'll need for, for each flight here, uh, business class. Now, if I wanna fly economy, I can do that. It's 20,000 uh, points for economy. But uh, in my case, I wanna do business class. Okay, so what's uh, important here to note is you have a mixed cabin on this flight here. So what that means is if you hit details here, it'll show you you have a business class flight from Los Angeles to El Salvador, and then from El Salvador to Bogota, it's gonna be an economy flight. So you wanna make sure that if you wanna fly only business class, which it makes sense if you're using the same amount of points, you, you don't do that mixed cabin, that's not what you want. Okay, so I'll move on down here, and I've looked at these flights already, and these flights, they get there at the same time, 12.30 p.m., but they, this one leaves a little bit later. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason why I like the, the 12 a.m. flight uh, compared to the 1.30 a.m. So the 1.30 a.m., if you hit the details on that, uh, you see the, the connector here. It's one hour and five minutes. I don't want to have that short of a connection. I want to have a little bit more time just in case something goes wrong with the plane and they're delayed for a little bit, uh, I run a chance of missing this flight here. So I, I don't mind getting to the airport an hour and a half prior to the, this flight in order to get that, uh, make, make sure I don't have any problems. So looking at the 12 a.m. flight, uh, the details on that, our connection is now two hours and 24 minutes. So I have a little bit more time. If they have some delays and, and stuff like that, I can still make this flight. So that's what I wanna focus on. Okay, so. 35,000 miles, like I said, make sure you don't do the mixed cabin because you have all these available that are just business class, right? Business class for each flight, you have business class, you get a snack and then you'll get uh, breakfast from uh, El Salvador to Bogota, so that's nice. So I'll go ahead and select this flight here. Okay, so now I booked the multi-city, okay? So I wanted to get a stopover in on this flight and you can do this with the excursionist perk with United, this is a really good a really good deal here. So the excursionist perk will say that I can do a stopover and that's what I did here. I don't have to use any points in order to do the stopover, okay? So I was flying from Los Angeles to Bogota 
and then I spent four days in Bogota, and then that, that's my stopover, and now I wanna go from Bogota to Medellin. So this flight here, zero points, I have to pay taxes and fees, it's gonna be $4.70. So I can go ahead and look down here and find a, a, an available uh, flight, and I've looked at this already, so I think I like this one the best. Main reason, it's 2.40 p.m. I figure I'm going to leave the leave to the airport probably around 11.30, 12 o'clock. That'll give me plenty of time to get, uh, get to my flight. And it's going to be on Avianca A320. I like to fly an A320, A321. Those are the, the planes that I really uh, prefer. I don't really like flying on the smaller planes like the 319 or anything like that. So... In this case, this will work for me. So I'll go ahead and hit select. Okay, now we have to do the last flight here. So uh, just to kind of recap, we went from Los Angeles to Bogota, and then we went from Bogota to Medellin. That was a stopover. And so now we need to get that flight back home. And so that will be 35,000 uh, points as well. So just looking on down here, and this is, this is where you should always hit details. When you're using United, you always hit the details. So you want to find out exactly what type of plane you're flying on. That makes a, a big difference, a huge difference. And I'm going to show you why here. So looking at this flight here, I already looked at this one. If you hit details, it's going to be a 10-hour flight. And your first flight is going to be from Medellin to Bogota. Okay, so that's a short, what, 57-minute flight. You're going to go business class there. And then you'll have business class down here. But look at this flight here. You're going to be flying on a, a 787. So you're flying on a Dreamliner. So that's live flat seats. That's a true business class experience. So that's really good that you're able to do that. So from Bogota to Los Angeles, I'll have a real nice flight. And that'll be a seven hour and 45 minute flight. So you want to look for those little details because you might look at some of these other flights down here and it'll be business class, but it'll be a smaller plane. It's not going to be live flat, uh, live flat seat. So uh, really important to look at the details. And so I already looked at this one, leaves at 958. That's perfect for me. I don't have to get up too early. And uh, so we'll go ahead and select that one. Okay, so here we are, we're at the very end here. Now you see it's saying that I need 31,000 points in order to book this flight, almost pretty much 32,000 points in order to book the flight. So I'm short, I only had 38,000, I need an additional 31,000. So I need 70, 000, I need to use 70,000 miles if I wanna book it. Taxes and fees would be $85.83. Now, if I want to just pay, I can do points and cash. So you can do that. If I wanna pay, it's gonna cost $688 in addition to taxes and fees plus the 70,000. Uh, miles. Okay, let me explain a little bit here. So you saw that it said 70,000 miles plus $688 and then it had the $85 or something like that for your taxes and fees. Now, the if you use the 38,000 points that I already had, so I had 38,000 points. If I use 38,000 points, I can buy the additional points that I need for $688. Now, if I want to use my own points, if I have other points, like in the Ultimate Rewards, like when I transfer the points over, then I can do that. And I don't have to pay the $688. So basically what they're saying is 38,000 points plus $688 will equal 70,000 points. And then all you need to do in that case is pay the taxes and fees, which is like, what, $85 or so. So that's that. I just want to kind of explain that to you guys. Uh, we can go ahead and move forward. Now, I know I can transfer points from Chase, so that's what I'll do next. We'll just transfer those points over and then you'll see this uh, price drop down. Okay, so now I'm in my Chase account and I wanna transfer points from a cashback card into a Chase Sapphire Reserve. You can do it Chase Sapphire Reserve, Chase Sapphire Preferred, or the Chase Inc. Business Plus card. Those cards will allow me to transfer my points directly into an airline or hotel. Now the cashback cards won't allow you to do that. So you can earn points on the cashback cards and then transfer them up if you wanna do that. If you wanna just cash them out, you can also do that and just uh, take cash back, but you're gonna get the best value if you transfer them to the different transfer partners. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So the Chase Inc. cash card, that's where I'm gonna transfer the points and we'll, I'll show you guys how to do that. So go ahead and click here. Okay, so now it opens up my accounts and it shows me exactly what, where I can transfer points from and two. So I want to go from the Chase Inc. Cash card to the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. So Chase Inc. Cash, Chase Sapphire Reserve. All right, so it's showing me all the points that I have, and now it's allowing me to, to click how many points I want. So I want to do other amount. I don't, I don't need to transfer them all right now. So I'll go ahead and do the 32,000. That's what we wanted to do there. So 32,000 points, that's what we're transferring over to our Chase Sapphire Reserve. So now just go down to the bottom here, hit review. 
and it's showing you your points will be removed instantly and I can confirm and submit. Okay, it's showing that you have successfully moved your points. So I've moved 32,000 points over. And so now I wanna to go to the Chase Sapphire Reserve homepage and then I'll do the, the rest of the booking. Okay, now I'm in the Chase Sapphire Reserve account and now you see I have transferred to travel partners. Okay, you didn't have this with the cashback card. So I wanna go ahead and click on that. Okay, so I already have these accounts set up. If you don't have the accounts set up already, you do have to go down and make those uh, make that arrangement down here. And you just need to put your information in there with the account. So if I have British Airways account, then I just need to link that account to the Chase account. Okay, so now I wanna transfer my points into the Mileage Plus account. So I go ahead and click on that, transfer points. And we already know it's 32,000 points that we need to transfer, so we'll go ahead and do that. So put 32 there and then hit continue. Okay, now it's telling me it's gonna be 32,000 points that I'm transferring, so we'll go ahead and move down here. And then we're gonna confirm and submit. And there it says, thank you. So now it takes probably about five minutes. I would check back in like five minutes just to make sure that the points have been transferred over uh, appropriately. So I will go back to United. And so now we're in the United account and it's been uh, like 30 seconds since. So I just wanna do a refresh real quick just to see if there's any change. Okay, so it was just that fast. It was about, took like a minute really. And I'm looking at it, so now I have 70,000 miles uh, plus $85 for taxes and fees, $85.83. So now I'm ready to hit submit and we're ready to, to book the flight. Okay, so this is something important to understand. If you're booking on United and flying on a different airline carrier, you, sometimes you can't pick your seat. So in this case, I'm not able to pick my seat for any of the flights. Uh, so I will have to contact Avianca uh, to, to make the seating arrangement if I wanna do that. I'm flying business class, so really I, I'm fine with either window seat or aisle seat. Uh, they're both comfortable. Uh, the, the Dreamliner, so the flight back, I do want a, a window seat, so I will probably contact them about that seat. So let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so something else I wanna mention is the travel insurance. So a lot of credit cards will give you travel insurance, but it doesn't cover medical expenses uh, for the most part. The Chase Sapphire Reserve will cover up to like $2,500, but uh, that's, that's kind of rare. So you might wanna get travel insurance uh, through a third party, and that's what I'm gonna do here. And this is all set up with United, so that's good. It is at a discounted rate. So it's $27 for this insurance. It will cover 25,000, up to $25,000 for medical emergency uh, expense. And that's my main, my main reason for getting the insurance. All the other stuff, your credit cards usually will cover you uh, for like the, the lost luggage and, and delays and stuff like that. But the medical coverage, that's what I really am concerned with. So go ahead and click yes here. That'll be $27 and that will add to my cost there. So that's it, it's pretty easy when it comes to the ultimate reward points. To transfer your points over, it's not very hard. Uh, you did see that I had, car, I had points on a, on a cashback card. I transferred those points from the cashback card over to the Chase Sapphire Reserve, and then from the Chase Sapphire Reserve, I transferred it over to United. You don't have to do that. If you already have points in the Chase Sapphire Reserve, or the Chase Sapphire Preferred, or the Chase Inc. Uh, Business Preferred, if you have points already in those systems, you don't have to transfer because they're not cashback cards. They have the direct transfer partners, so you don't have to do that extra little step. But I thought I might show you that just for people who have like the Chase Freedom card, Chase Freedom Unlimited, or the Chase Inc. Unlimited, or the Chase Inc. Cash card. Those cards, you, you have to transfer your points up to uh, one of the cards that has the, the transfer partner. So I wanted to show you that. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about, and this is very, very crucial, make sure you go through all the steps. So you're gonna make sure everything is available and then transfer your points over. You don't wanna transfer your points over and then wait a couple of days and then try to book your flight because it might not be available and you can't transfer those points back over to the Ultimate Rewards Program. So make sure you're ready to go. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, go through all the steps and make sure everything is available and and then transfer those points over. Another thing, as you saw how I did the multi-city, I did multi-city when I did my booking, so I went to advance to the multi-city. That way it allowed me to, to book an extra stop. So I have that, that stop over uh, in Bogota and I was able to stay in Bogota for a few days and then I can go to uh, Medellin, which is my destination. Uh, but the stopover is always great. I didn't have to use any points in order to, to stay in Bogota and fly from Bogota over to Medellin. Okay, another thing to mention is you wanna check the details every time. So if you're in United, click the little detail tab, see how long your layover is, see what flights you're flying on, like what planes you're flying on. That's really important. You saw my flight back, I'm flying on a Dreamliner. So that business class experience is much better than the business class experience on the 
way up on a A320 or A321. So check the details. It's very, very important to do that. So that's it. I just wanted to show you how I use Ultima Reward Points to book a flight. I will do a hotel version. Uh, on this trip, I am staying at the Grand Hyatt, but I use cash to stay, so that's really not exciting. So I wanna show you how to use points. So when I do have a booking where I'm using points to stay at a hotel, I will show you guys that. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. And check out these videos over here for more great content. Talk to you later. Bye.